Okay. Okay, we need to get in touch with any other ships that made it past. Can we do that? Is anyone there? Can someone hear me? What, what's going on? Is our communist busted? I wonder if the shock from the... Hold on, hold on. Go back. I think I can tell what they're saying. Uh, what? Remember the worm in his ear that I mentioned earlier? Apparently it's a sophisticated universal translator that's loosely related to the common sea slug. What are they saying, Gideon? It's a call. A plea for any surviving human ships. They offer assistance and they want to... Assistance? You can't be serious. No, 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 no. These are the first beings that we met with. They're friendly. Almost too friendly. We were welcomed onto their ship like gods. I think they were trying to warn us of the attack. So, I'm supposed to believe that there are not only one, but two advanced alien species out there with a simultaneous interest in little old Adamea. I mean, millions of years go by without so much as a hello there from the great beyond, and for some reason, they both picked today to come out of the closet? They're aliens. Our first contacts. We're trying to get here first to warn us. Nice timing. And now they may be our only chance of surviving. How many days worth of O2 does this ship hold? You think we have enough fuel to find a habitable planet in the next star system over? You're asking me to trust an impression you got from a handshake. Captain, listen to the calm. The rest of the bands are silent. There's no one else out there. Call your friends, Gideon. Greetings, exalted ones. Our supply of translation implants was lost aboard the mothership. So we pray gesture will suffice. Uh, sir, I was on the diplomatic shuttle and was able to get one before all hell broke loose. Interesting. Our joy in this association can only be overshadowed by the monstrous tragedy you have suffered. The Ankaro, the beings who savaged your world, they prefer the benevolent title of Seeker. It is a term which the civilized universe has never been able to see past. Until now, when the Galactic Senate hears of this, that our long-held suspicions are true, Patience, my friend. We will deal with further strategies when we reach Aurelia. Until then, we have honored guests hungry for comfort and truth. I imagined you would eventually find me here. Uh, earlier you mentioned something. Something about hidden powers? I am a remnant of the ancient religion, human. All of the civilized races have individuals with the seeds of this power. Our prophecies say that the humans are the originators and the masters, and that through them, our own shall blossom. Do you have this gift? I do, human. It is my hope that with it, I can kindle something inside of you. Well, I've never been any good at magic tricks. Oh no, human. This is something far greater than any trick. This is your purpose, and it courses through every cell of your body. Okay, so what can you do? Uh, with this power, I mean. Gideon, this is the sum total of a being's undeniable confidence, a power which, if harnessed, can bend all the energy of the stars to your disposal. So this power is a weapon. Interesting that you would infer that. So the human would have me teach him? Hold on. I'm not a believer yet. Very well. See the shell here on the table in front of you? Watch. I have never been able to sustain it for so long. Are the sayings true? Sayings? Hey, how are you... And...
through their presence shall all be made strong. Good timing. Looks like we're about to come out of hyperspace. You see before you my homeworld, Exalted Ones. The famed beauty of the Undying Seas await us. Commander, seek or destroy our off starboard. They're charging weapons. This cannot be! I never stand a chance against that kind of firepower. Saran, bring us inside their firing radius. Get me close enough to smell the dirty beasts. All crew are ordered to don their vacuum gear and abandon ship. My brave warriors, what lays ahead may be the deadliest challenge of your lives. Our foe has gone unchallenged and unbeaten for centuries. It is my hope that this assault will find them overconfident and unprepared. <laughs> 